Hello everybody, it's me, I'm Flynn. I'm the leader of Red Hand. Uh, I know a lot of you that have matched with us in Rat Island or are members currently of Red Hand, you know that we love to raid. You know, we have a certain set of individuals that like to go troll in some camps and start some havoc. It's pretty common, a lot of people like to PVP. I'm sorry if that makes some people angry, but these things aren't unfair. The reason we're so good at it is because we know how to do it it's really not that complex and it's super duper easy we're not doing anything special and we're not doing anything extraordinary or outside of the bounds of what the game lets us do it's literally tools at your advantage that you may just not know about so we're going to go over all of them today we're going to turn you guys into rating phenoms just by some super easy simple steps First thing we're gonna go over is your tools that you have at your disposal when you're raiding. The first and most commonly used tool by any raider and even defenders is the glider and the jetpack. Now, these are certain things that let you move around very easily. If you don't know how to use them, I don't know what game you're playing, but everybody uses them all the time. In raids, it allows you to get over people's walls without actually cracking into the homestead. It's not like life after when you can't go over the walls. You can go anywhere in this game. Also, it'll let, it lets you escape firefights that are getting out of hand if you are in one or if you're just simply being chased and don't want to fight anybody on this certain raid. Um, the second thing that you need to understand is that water is your friend. If you go into the water, you can't really be shot. Yes, if you poke your head above it, you can be sniped, but that's if you're standing still. If you're standing still in the water, you're already doing something wrong. The third tool is the raid box or raid window. It's the window that shows you what camp you're raiding at that time, and then has two buttons at the bottom. One of them is evacuate, and the other one is layout. Layout lets you see every single district within a camp and everybody that uh, lives in the homesteads inside the, of those districts. If you click layout while you're raiding and then click a district, you can easily teleport there with a 10 second warm up before you do teleport. That, now in those 10 seconds, you can't move, move or shoot, but you can look around. Get, if you need to, get to a safe spot and you can teleport anywhere safely. And then your fourth tool that a lot of people like to forget when they're raiding is unstuck. Every 12 minutes, you can use unstuck to teleport yourself out of a bad situation. So, say I've been raiding and I'm being chased by 10 defenders. I get into the water, but then all of a sudden the defenders are shooting at me from a distance and all the beaches are socked down with enemy and there's nothing that I can do. Hit unstuck and will teleport you inland on a district that you're currently at and then you can get away safely. Don't forget about this, it's life-saving. You can also unstuck from inside of homesteads. So while breaking down a homestead and trying to find that box, you start getting pumped full of defenders, click unstuck, get out. Come back once you have more control of your environment. Now we know the tools at our disposal, we need to start getting ready to raid. Now, first and foremost, you need to know what your intentions are. All right, are you looking to have a safe, quick and in out raid? Or are you trying to go raid a house, get a box and troll a camp for about 30 minutes? If the latter is so, this video is pretty much over for you. Um, you're pretty confident already and you're ready to go in there and try your luck at destroying some people in a camp and uh, hurting some feelings. Go ahead. You're ready. For those of you that are looking for an easy in and out raid, I'm going to show you how you can literally complete an entire raid butt naked, all except for a gun. This is incredibly easy, incredibly safe, and you can do it every single day no problem with no risk to you or hurting anybody's feelings now that we understand what we're going to do we want to get ready now you can buff up for these things but it's not required for a quick and easy and safe raid there shouldn't be a lot of fighting you shouldn't be in a lot of contact so wasting food buffs is probably not a great idea i usually run at least 
the Troubadour buff just so that I can have a little bit of punch with no expense in case things get hairy. After you find out if you're doing that or not, you're going to head down to Infiltrate in Noah's Park. From there, you're going to go to the NPC there and hit Purchase and buy a decryption card. That decryption card will get you one ticket to infiltrate one of the three camps that you're going up against in Radiation Island. Once you've purchased that, you need to go into your inventory and use the item. It will start a mission that takes you right back to that infiltrate NPC and invites you to hit the infiltrate button, which you can use now, whereas before you could not. Once you hit infiltrate, you'll be met with some dialogue in option boxes. If you answer correctly, you'll start your raid and go into one of the three enemy camps. Once you're in the enemy camp, the camp will be notified that they're being infiltrated. From this point, they're gonna start gathering a response. But mind you, you've taken the first step, so you're already ahead of them. When you start an infiltration, you spawn in at any of the roadsides scattered around the camp. So your location when you start is completely randomized. But what you want to make sure, if you're trying to do a quick run, is to get over to Rock Ridges as quick as possible. Hit the layout button, randomly select one of the districts in Rock Ridges, and teleport there if you're not already there. Once you get in, you need to look around the minimap and make sure that there's no red dots so you're not in immediate danger when you spawn in. If there are, I would highly suggest running away to a safe place where you can use layout again to teleport to a different, more safe district of rock ridges where you can start your actual raid. At this point, you're in the hunt for a homestead that has an easily accessible locker and doesn't have a heck of a lot of defenses and something that you can get into and get out of very quickly, which every single camp, no matter how strong they are, always have that one dumb guy that is an easy pick for a raider like us. What you're looking for is something that has one story made out of wood walls and generally doesn't have a lot of stuff in the courtyard. In this video you're watching, you'll see me see a large building which I waste no time in bypassing. That seems like a harder target than what we're looking for right now, so I keep going. Immediately following that, I find a tiny little building made out of wood with rinky dink stuff everywhere that screams hey i'm bingo i'm your target from here we're going to use our glider to go down into the homestead and scope it out before we crack the door this is very important you want to make sure that you go and find the locker before you crack the door as soon as you crack that door the entirety of that camp will be told exactly where you are and which district of rock ridges you're in they will be coming and quick so we go and find the lockbox and then we go crack the door trace our steps back to the lockbox pound it and get out well done on destroying the locker now get out of there and bring me the camp defense map back Now that you've popped the locker and you've escaped the homestead, it's time to do some serious evasion because the rest of the camp is coming after you. What you want to do is get away from that homestead as quick as possible. What I'm going to do is hit layout and go all the way over to Polaris Island, which I'm sure there's no enemy camp defenders, and then try to use the helicopter pad there because it's furthest away from the mainland and harder for the enemy to spot you going there. If you're quick enough, you can get to that helipad and get out scot-free. Mind you, if you're not quick enough and the defenders catch up to you, it's okay. If you die, you've already won. You've already broken that locker, so your mission's accomplished. Congratulations.
Now that we're finishing the demonstration in the video, understand that this is in Atlantis, a camp that has been fighting us tooth and nail all week long. I've just completed this very easy raid in under four minutes and didn't see a single defender. As long as you play it smart and follow these guidelines, you can raid easily, safely, and frequently as many times as you want. I hope this helped you guys. I hope that we see more raiders out there, and please stop looking at it so negatively. Yes, there's trolls, but it's part of the game. They put it in there so that you would have the conflict. Stop being so upset with the players for just doing what they want in the game that allows them to do it. From these red hands and black deeds.